there VR fans, this is Eric with another gameplay video. Today I'm going to show you Trickster VR, a great action game that you can play multiplayer and co-op with your friends right here in the lounge. In this game, you're going to fend off hordes of orcs and goblins as you either try to go through the campaign mode or play horde mode and defend your crystal. When you start the game, the first thing you see is this menu. How would you like to move? Two choices here, teleport or walk. If you do teleport, you're going to hit the large trackpad and use that to kind of teleport around with, with a little uh, reticule. If you use walk, then you're going to use the trackpad, push it forward, and you're going to kind of move through space. Uh, for people that might you know, get dizzy or be inclined to, to be dizzy, I would recommend teleport. I prefer teleport, which is what I'll be showing you today. Uh, but you could do walk, which they do say is more immersive. So teleport it is for me. If you'd like more settings, you can hit the menu button, which is above the trackpad. This will give you some options about handedness uh, of the control. So motion control hand, also lets you change the, the walking. If you move when you teleport, you can also change your handedness, where your bow lands, uh, how far the draw length is on your bow, and a bunch of other options. So feel free to check out this menu. But when you're ready to go, come back to this screen by closing the menu, hitting the, the, the menu button above the trackpad, and then just hit continue. All right, so as soon as you start the game, you're gonna be kind of in this little space. This is where you make some choices about, about how you're gonna play or, or, or what worlds you're gonna play in. As you look around, there's basically floating islands in the air. Uh, this whole game kind of takes place in that setting. Uh, just these little islands that float through the sky. So, to move, I pick teleport. As you can see, they've kind of cued me now. I'm going to hit the pad. I'm going to have a little, a little blue target. And when I let go, I'm going to warp to that space. So what you want to do when you get in here is you want to walk up to that table, that like, kind of Remind halter. Remind me not to let you take these long breaks. Your aim is getting worse. Oh, apparently he missed me. It's good to see you, buddy. So you're going to walk up to this kind of altar-looking space, and this is where you're going to make all your choices, all right? So if you want to familiarize yourself with the weapons, you can equip these by uh, hitting the trigger. Once your, once your controller turns yellow, you can pick these up. Now you see I have a sword and a shield. To switch weapons, you're going to hit the grip buttons or the squeeze buttons on the side of your controller. So let's do that now. Now I have a bow and arrow. Very cool. To use this, it's like all other bow and arrow games. You're just going to knock the arrow, hold the trigger, pull back, aim and fire. Just like That's that. Right. Get in the zone. You do have a limited amount of ammo, so you want to be cognizant of how much ammo you use. Uh, you can pick up ammunition by moving to the crates. You'll see more ammo here. You can reach out and grab that ammo by hitting the trigger. And now I have more ammo. Also, enemies will drop ammo, so you can use that ammo as well. Alright, so, two options here. If you want to play the campaign, you're going to go to the Highlands. You're going to reach out, touch this. You're going to pull the trigger. Pack some extra pointy bits. We're going to need them. And then you can play through the campaign mode as you see fit. If you want to play the Horde, which is what I'm going to play today, you want to hit Crossroads Keep. This one may be tricky. All right, and this is going to give you waves of attacks, and you need to defend this space here, OK? So let's do it. We know how to move. We know how to switch our weapons. We know how to swing our swords and aim. Let's get to it. To start, you're going to reach out to this first little cube, this first cube here, and pull the trigger. And then waves are going to start. Let's do it. All right, so little islands are going to come flying up. You, can, you cannot walk on them. As you see, you can't enter that space really very well. Oh, backing up. All right. So you can use your sword, your, your shield to block as you take damage. Aim for the, aim for the if you take any damage, you're going to see there's like kind of red on the screen. 
you do heal a little bit, and you can also pick up these green potions to heal. Also, to get more ammo, you can pick up these arrows. So I'm gonna do that now. You can either walk through them or you can reach out and grab them. Alright, that guy's an archer, I'm gonna switch to my bow. Hey, I need some help over here. Now you see they're gonna try to attack your crystal. So you need to defend it. It's getting crowded around here. Help me out. Okay. Another? Alright, there's a scroll. A scroll of Meteor. I'm gonna pick this up real fast. Yeah, it, add, it adds it to my belt. Don't keep me waiting, could you? I want to oh. <laughs> That guy I just nice. killed there is a fire shaman. You want to try to take them out pretty quickly. Run around and collect all this stuff as much as you can. Dead yet? Oh, jeez. Where the heck did you guys come from? Oh, my goodness. Jeez. As you can see, you can get quickly overwhelmed. If you're playing this in multiplayer, you and your friends would be in this space, kind of helping you kind of take on this onslaught of enemies. There are some weapons in the corner if you can get to them, but by myself, it's a little tricky. As you go through more waves, there will be more people. They will get harder. Alright, and then be quick to make sure you pick up items. You can only hold one scroll at a time, so I'm gonna leave this sit and I'm gonna use this on these guys. I'm gonna grab this scroll. And I missed. Oh no! I wanna This scroll. Neat! Why don't you shove it into an orc's face and see what it does? Lots of scrolls sitting around now. Let's try to use them. Oh, that's cool. I want a new scroll to Oh, that was awesome! It's getting oh, crowded around here. Help you out! much time so I gotta get all these weapons and be prepared. Aim for that big head. Make sure that when you're shooting your arrow you release the trigger because otherwise you won't be able to oh, knock what? your weapon. Move. Aha, 
Alright, so you guys kind of get the gist. <laughs> So that's this game. That's Trickster VR. That is the wave attack kind of horde mode. Again, you can play the campaign by going to the pick, highlands. Pick, pick. And to so play choice. to play multiplayer, you'd want to go over here to the find heroes, select this, and then you you would then add yourself to to kind of this list. Um, I don't believe you'll see yourself. Others will see you kind of you know, waiting once you're in this room. Uh, you'll get added as kind of, uh, one, of the, one of the people playing. So, that's it, Trickster VR. Come into the lounge, check it out. It's definitely one of our fan favorites here. Uh, open every day of the week. Until I see you next time, happy gaming. Man, this music is really epic.